Hi guys, how's it going? I've recorded this three times now because I got stuck and I didn't know what to say because with vlogs it's like, uh Um, anyways, I wanted to make a vlog about, um, the... I... Seeing funeral for a friend on... Saturday at Tramlines Festival in Sheffield. It, please excuse my hair, I haven't washed it because I'm trying to keep the blue in and like it's going all weird because it was supposed to be dark blue but now it's like pastel blue but I'm not really complaining and I put purple in it so you know. So yeah, basically me and my friend Dylan went to go see Fear of a Friend. It's the second time I've seen them. The first time I saw them, it was almost a year ago um, on August the 1st. It was really awesome. Uh, on Saturday, me and my friend went and we decided to go two hours before the venue opened and there was literally no one there. When the venue opened, there was only five people lined up outside. Uh, it filled in like throughout the show, but like there was literally no one there. No one was like, oh my god, I want to see if you're for a friend, apart from probably me. Anyways, uh, because we lined up two hours before and uh, we, me and my friend got to see the bands drive up um, and they were doing a practice session inside and it was literally like a steel wall kind of thing. The one that, you know, the garages and it, it's like it lifts up and all that. Yeah, it was basically that. You know, you just want to open the door and walk in. Yes. You know, free show before the show. And there's also some man walking outside and you look like, what the fuck is this music? What the hell are you kids listening to nowadays? It, yeah, you know. So anyways, um, yeah, so it was pretty rad. The first time I saw Fiora for a friend, I will show you. I got a, that pick there, I still have the ticket. There it is. That was my first pick. That, my friend, like, literally she dived on the stage because the stage was, like, not that, well, right next to the stage, the stage was about that high maybe um so yeah it was a tiny venue when i saw them last and this venue was a lot bigger it had a barricade kind of thing like the fence whatever metal fence thing yeah i was at the front again because obviously i lined up before and got in and all that and there was no one there and yeah, I literally just stayed in the same place throughout the whole thing. I also got something that I hadn't gotten before because at the end of Funeral for Friends set, um, which they were sort of supporting, they were giving away all the stuff. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a set list, which is kind of what I wanted. But oh well, because I got this instead, which I've been waving around the whole video. This is a drumstick, the drummer used, obviously. Um, it's got like little notches and everything and I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, it's got little tiny notches in it from like drumming, obviously. And um, some person nearly got into a fight with me about it because there's this woman and she, she must have been about 20 or something and she was stood behind me um throughout the whole show she kept trying to push me and to try and get to the front and the security guard stopped someone i think it might have been her um he the security guard kind of went over the barricade and told the people to stop trying to push forward because it was really annoying and yeah so she's kind of giving me a bit of a hard time during the thing i don't really care because i was like oh yeah funeral um so yeah and because I have never caught anything that well. I'm not a good catcher. So they threw this and I was like, yeah. And I got it in the middle. So lucky me. And then there was like several other people trying to grab it from me, which is fair enough because they just grabbed it and they're like, oh, okay, this girl's got it. And they're like, go. But no, this person um, kept trying to yank it out of my hand. I was like, what the fuck? If you catch something, see someone catch something you just let them have it i mean i've literally i've been to so many shows and things have been chucked and it's like oh the person next to me has it it's like oh 
Okay, he's there, it's fair as fair. No, this person decided to try and scratch me and everything with her false nails. I was like, Aah! and trying to fight me over it. So I literally, I just fell, fell to the ground. Um, so I just grabbed it like that and just went down because they didn't expect that and they let go and I kind of scraped my knee a little bit but it was worth it oops sorry and um then after like she kept like poking my back I was like what the fuck do you want and um she had I think it was a trauma tat I'm not even sure I didn't even know at the time I was kind of like she's like is this yours and she's I think she, like it seemed like that was what she was saying because she was just waving a hat in front of my face I was like Oh no, that's not mine, sorry. And then she's like, well, it's mine now, ah! And all that, and I was like, um, okay, cool. I have a drumstick, I don't really give a shit. The, one of the people, the stage crew, gave me another pick. Hooray! So as you, if you can see that, I hope you can, because it's a bit awkward if you can't. Yeah, um, I just stop recording. Um, so yeah, that's cool. So I have a second pick. So that's awesome. I also got to meet Matthew Davies again at the end and had a quick chat with him. So that was my funeral for a friend visit kind of thing. I also got to meet the band Climates. Um, they were rad. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video of me talking. Like and comment if you want to. I will probably put another video up sometime. Um, so yeah. Bye, Nacho.